Hey everyone, Chris and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Just kind of got done restocking and setting prices and honestly I think today I'm going to do uh, quite a bit of stocking. Got a good reserve here. But today's finally the day we got our first employee. I have $586. Let me just actually make sure I paid all the bills. Nope, I did not. So 10 for electricity and 35 for rent, which is actually incredible considering the area. But it's 35 per day, so I, I guess it adds up. So let's go to hiring and get our first cashier. So $80 a day and it's going to cost $100. Let's go ahead and click hire. And I'm super curious as to how that kind of works out. Oh, hey, you just kind of uh, pop up there. Don't don't look too motivated to work here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this is going to be pretty exciting because uh, in other games, sometimes they have like skills. But this one, I didn't really notice anything there. So I'm really curious as to how fast or perhaps slow they are. Well, only one way to find out, right? Let's go ahead and open up for business. I don't know if we perhaps have our first customer here. Nope, he's just going for a walk in his nice suit. You know, it's actually, again, kind of surprising the variety of characters here. And man, storage would be kind of good too. It's kind of small, and then I think we have to get racks for it. But um, I'm kind of more interested in seeing how our worker kind of does over here. Oh yeah, let me turn on the lights, make sure everything's nice and well lit, because that looks a million times better than uh, just having it all in the darkness here. Yeah, this should be quite interesting. We got our first guy there. He's kind of loading stuff up. And oh yeah, he's not a... Uh, He's not all that quick, that's for sure. Okay, so we might have a little bit more of a line today. But the benefit is, obviously, I could keep way better track of uh, essentially stocking stuff over here. We're going to have a decent supply. Let's go ahead and put that last coffee there. And then I also did kind of lower prices to uh, just about market price. So 446 we're asking 450 And then some of them are exactly market price, so 450 450 and then I think for like one or two things, we might be under by like five cents. But I'm trying to keep stuff a little bit closer, try out something different. Maybe uh, these lower prices will kind of have more people come in. We'll, we'll test it out for a bit, see how we do at the end of the day. Oh man, we're getting quite the number of customers. Um, Again, I kind of wonder if that has to do with the slightly lower prices. I'm just trying to keep up with uh, stocking stuff here. They're going through items very quickly. So I got to go order a little bit more flour. Uh, kind of going through pasta pretty quickly, too. And I forgot what level, but uh, we could also get a stalker. A restalker sounds kind of weird saying stalker makes it sound like, a, you know, they're just following people around. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but I guess we're going to do it, sure. But yeah, once that kind of gets a little bit more settled, we get the pace of this. Uh, you know, maybe we could come over here and get another license for items, like get some uh, peanut butter. Different flour, olive oil, pasta, spaghetti, rice basmati, and salt. Because, yeah, we actually have a lot of stuff here that we could unlock. But um, I've been kind of focusing on just kind of earning money. Again, it's kind of hard keeping everything fully stocked. But now we might have the resources. Man, this really makes you kind of realize uh, how much product a store really goes through in a day. Because, man, I am still kind of struggling just to keep things fully stocked here. Did a couple orders. It's already 7.49, so getting through the day pretty well. And yeah, we're making some pretty good cash. Okay, let me just try to have things somewhat organized. Although, again, without the storage, it's a little, it's a little hectic to say the least. Oh gosh, I still need more flour. That's a hot, hot product for sure. So 784. And then we got to keep a little bit of money for bills, of course. Oh man, I already went through. Even uh, some of the milk. I need uh, another milk. Yep, yep, yep. Let me try to do that before the day ends. So what is it? Uh, milk and flour. Let's try to get a quick order of that. Oh, just in time maybe. Oh, I barely missed it by like a second. Okay. Kind of thought I had it there. But man, even this late at night, we still have like what? One, two, three, four, five people in the store buying stuff. So um, I think the lower prices definitely helped a bit. Ooh, okay. I think that's kind of the... End of the rush there, so 9 o'clock, we got $1,004. Let's go ahead and finish the day. I'm assuming it's going to take the $100 for the person here, or perhaps not. Oh, maybe that's like a bill here. Okay, so sugar and pasta went up. I should really do like a surplus uh, purchases when prices are a little bit lower. So right here, we'll do a $4.50. Sounds pretty reasonable, only $0.05 cents above asking price. And then uh, same thing here, like $3.75, so... Only a penny above. 
Not bad, not bad. You are a big help, sir. I hope you know that. Employee of the month, because, uh, well, you're essentially the only employee, but you know what I mean. You deserve it totally. Okay, I'm kind of really realizing I need like three of everything here. How much is this? Uh, 800 or something like that? Let's double check. And then we'll try to place an order after, perhaps. So management, and got bills here. So 16 and 35 as usual. Um, not seeing anything here about the, the cashier's wages. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and purchase the storage. So that was $800. Oh, I think I might have done goofed. Yeah, because I need money for uh, items here. Why is that locked? Oh, do I have to, like, expand it a certain amount? Okay, but, uh, well... We got this here. I like how there's a light switch, but no light. That's kind of hilarious, actually. But, um, I guess now we can kind of stockpile stuff here. And then when we get the the restocker, we could kind of do that. I think I kind of jumped the gun there, if I'm being honest. So we need storage and a rack and then level 15 for the restocker. Okay, I think I, yeah, I, I kind of got a, a little ahead of myself there. Okay, let's get flour and milk because those were things we were kind of low on. And then today's just going to be a pretty hectic rush. That's uh, kind of what it seems like. I'm going to have to restock as we go, essentially. Okay, let's just get that nice and topped off. And luckily we have, like, bread and stuff. But yeah, it seems like three boxes of everything. Or maybe once the shelves are full, we should have, like, two extra boxes. I mean, this is generally well stocked there. Milk's good. El eggs? I was going to say elks. I don't know what I was trying to say there. You know, I'm just... I'll just be quiet and open up for the day. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a much better plan than whatever I'm trying to do. And yeah, I'm really realizing how much of a waste that kind of was. I should have probably just bought more product because uh, we kind of go through stuff so quickly. It's not really used for me. And then since I don't see the product, I'm kind of like doubling order. Oh, the checkouts are full. Oh, okay. So we're getting more customers than uh, we can kind of handle here. Come on. I'm going to call you Bob. Come on, Bob. Do your job. Hurry up, please. Can I help him out? No, I can't. I'm trying to click on it. Oh, man, that's kind of... Oh, oh, he needs water. Do I have some agua over here? No, I don't. Okay, I don't know why I'm grabbing the cheese, but I'm going to go ahead and restock that. So we need water for sure. Water and coffee seem to be a, a big thing. Let's go ahead and do that. Gosh, things are really ramped up in kind of craziness. Let's get two of each just to have extra. Let's get these guys their water. They definitely need it. I'm going to pretend it's like a hot day or something. Sure. They're going to be dehydrated without it. Okay, let's close that. Uh, what was it? Coffee. There we go. Yeah, only two left on the shelf. Oh, couldn't find water. I just put some man. You could, uh, you know, step out of line and just go pick one up. Takes like two seconds, of course. But, you know, I think that's actually not too bad of a problem to have if it's full. Hey, okay, I guess that... That's how long he was waiting in line. I was able to restock everything and he was still uh, out of water, essentially. Gosh, they go through that coffee like crazy. Okay, everything's looking uh, okay-ish, except maybe milk. I don't think I have milk. I think I might just start putting stuff kind of towards the back row here, because I kind of do want to try some of those uh, expansions. So some of the licenses and whatnot. It's going to be a little cramped, but... um. Yeah, that would have been a much better purchase than the storage, which I'm clearly not using right now. Okay, it's getting close to the end of the day. Ooh, these shelf inner corners look kind of cool, actually. Because I'm trying to think of uh, how to do the next kind of setup. I mean, a corner piece would be kind of nice. We have that and, like, maybe just shelving along the back. And then maybe right here, we kind of have, like, the refrigerated section. I think that doesn't sound too bad. We have a little bit of cash. Let's go ahead and uh, get two corner pieces. Hopefully those work. Oh, yeah, I forget. You can't order anything after nine in this game for whatever reason. And I guess they got to take their breaks, too. Always forget about that. Oh, we're out of milk, I think. Let's uh, finish that. Yeah, I was completely out of milk. Couldn't get more of that. We need, like, coffee, flour, lots of things. Let's go ahead and finish the day. I'm really curious how many customers. So 36, and yeah, six of them were... A little upset because they couldn't find some stuff. My bad, my bad. Ooh, water, sugar, and flour kind of went down in price. Let me just go ahead and uh, set those accordingly. And then with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of organizing here. So let's place the fridge, uh, yeah, like right there. This will be kind of our refrigerated section. 
Let's place the next one right next to it as best as possible. I'm trying to kind of line them up. It's not going to be exact because there's not like a, a grid or snap in thing, but close enough. Let's go ahead and move this just kind of out of the way for right now. It's going to look kind of weird, but again, uh, there's a plan in progress here. It actually kind of works there too if we really needed to. But hold on. Let's come over here. Let's get those... Uh, two corner pieces oh yeah let me let me actually choose a color for those right so inner corner i kind of wanted a darker blue we're gonna have like a weird mishmash of colors but uh that's okay let's go with the dark blue see that see how that kind of works out for us let's have 305 which should be okay for like bills and all that let's see oh there's like a weird oh uh, there's an ugly piece there i didn't quite realize so we're gonna have like a weird gap and it'll have to do it'll have to do Let's see. Let's place that right there. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. Okay, I could I could dig that. And then as you guys can see, this will kind of go uh, essentially right next to it there. Same thing with this one. And man, I hope we have enough room for the, the other corner piece there. Oh yeah, there kind of is. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit weird, <laughs> as I said. Maybe I should push stuff back over here and just leave a little bit of a gap between the. Kind of middle ones, something like that. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. Unless I want to do maybe like that, although that's kind of weird, too. I'll just like trap people in the corner and have like a, a thing here. But no, okay, we'll put this back on the other side. We'll just kind of line it up there as best as possible. I need to learn if we can like sell stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, but that does not look too bad at all. Go ahead and turn on the lights, of course, and uh, just get the middle stuff kind of restocked. So flour, coffee, tea, milk, cheese. Oh man, I kind of just realized we're down to uh, just $9.93. Gosh, I kind of spent more than I thought I would here. Okay, but I think everything's just about restocked, uh, at least to get us through part of the day. We're making like money hand over fist here. And yeah, that looks half decent. Still need a little bit more sugar, pasta, and cereal. But uh, we'll kind of do those in a bit. Let's go ahead and open up. I still haven't really seen the pay, but I'm assuming it's kind of uh, automatically kind of deducted. And man, at some point, I am definitely going to need like a second cashier. I wonder if we buy that here. Oh yeah, checkout counter mirrored. Or checkout counter. Interesting. So, uh... $500 maybe at some point I'll have to get one of those once we get like a restocker that way I could kind of help out I think we're good on shelving right now uh, just making sure we keep stuff in stock and then try out the next license I think that was like 400 but uh, I think we have to get to like $600 just to make sure we have enough money to actually buy stuff for it okay so I don't really think we're gonna make too much actual profit today I've been really really just focusing on Give me stuff nice in stock so whenever something kind of runs out or just a little bit low i kind of buy two boxes of it i honestly feel like i said uh i should buy maybe even more especially like the sugar's technically on sale right now if you think about it because then some other day it's going to go back up to full price yep got some oil there let's put that there and man i cannot wait till level 15 because i actually don't mind doing the check i kind of miss it that was pretty dang quick at it comparatively to our employee no hard feelings, right? Yeah, he's cool. Bob's cool. You know, I will say, I don't think anyone's complained at all about the prices. So I think today might actually be essentially a perfect day as far as, like, reviews or ratings go. Everything's been decently in stock or, well, I've been trying my best, but nothing's actually run out. Gosh, I feel like I just bought two flour, like, a little while ago. Same thing with the pasta. I think that's kind of just on me, not uh, accounting for how many really come in a box and maybe purchasing even extra of those because uh tea lasts quite a while because i mean it's like what uh 20 per box so a decent amount on the shelving okay so that was the end of another pretty hectic day uh 35 customers and made 538 actually again lost profit but that's i think just because uh we're really trying to stock up on stuff and oh yeah over there in the top right paid automatically staff 80 bucks okay that makes a bit more sense but yeah it's kind of brutal just trying to keep up with things here so that kind of went back up let's do uh 10.5 yeah maybe going with market price is uh not letting me get a whole lot of profit 
And honestly, in some ways, I feel like things should have calmed down a little. Let's go ahead and put four raise prices just a little bit. Okay, quick pep talk, Bob. Uh, you're doing great. You're awesome. Just uh, try to speed things up just a little so we don't have too long of a line. But uh, yeah, everything's still looking pretty good. Gosh, I just want to save up enough money to uh, get the next tier products. Kind of check that out. I feel it's going to be like 10 times more hectic, but it should be cool. You know, I kind of realize I think it's usually the mornings that are pretty chill here. And then the afternoon really kind of picks things up. Okay, we got 470 there. Let's go ahead and come to our computer, go to management, licenses, and I guess we'll get this one. So PB, flour, olive oil, spaghetti, basmati, and salt. So that was $450 there. Wonder um how much those are. So 35. Oh, it's like a fancier flour, perhaps. Olive oil, salt. So these are all for the shelf. Okay, that's kind of perfect. Because then we can start loading them up on the Kind of the left side. Let's try to get a, essentially one of th those just to kind of start out with. Let's see. Let's go grab the olive oil. That's like a mid-shelf item. Oh, wait. Do these? Oh, I can't put it in the corner. Okay. That's fine. I kind of thought that'd be kind of cool. Put some uh, flour along the top. I think that'll kind of make sense. Keep that nice and organized like that. And then peanut butter. We'll go ahead and put some of that. Oh, oh! I didn't set the price. They're just buying it for like free or whatever happened there. He was complaining about something. Let's see, three ninety nine. Oh, uh, seven dollars, good sir. Oh man, I kind of forgot they would do that. Uh, five seventy five for the oil, and how much for the peanut butter? Five forty. Gosh, that's some pricey peanut butter. Okay, five fifty. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Okay, okay. Couldn't find salt. I mean, yeah, it's a hot new product. And man, I just realized, I feel like I made this, um, maybe harder than I needed to. Because <laughs> now I have to keep all this also in stock. That'd be nice if there was like a, a manager you could hire. He just kind of orders stuff for you. Okay, let me just keep track of everything else going on too. But you know, once I get a restocker, um, I think that's going to make things way, way easier. I think that should last at least for a bit there. 82 bucks. I just kind of want to try to order a couple things. I only have like a, a second to do it there. Let's do that. And just in time. Okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And we still have people coming in. Okay. Salt. Um, sure. Why not? We'll put that there. That guy was asking for it. Oh, yeah. Got to set the price. Got to set the price. Got to set the price. No, you don't, sir. Nope. Okay. I think he got being a butter. <laughs> Gosh, that's. A little wild. What is this? I forget. I think it's like a type of pasta. You know, we'll try to keep it maybe organized. Oh, it's rice. Okay. Hmm. And then this one's a pasta, I think. Yeah, I kind of want to keep stuff in like sections that kind of makes sense. But um, at least for right now, I'll just kind of worry about putting stuff on the shelf, I guess. That's probably the bigger concern. And yeah, I got way ahead of myself in a lot of things today with like the extra shelf that we're not really using. Especially the storage. That was a, a huge waste, at least right now. Because it really doesn't bring us like more profit or anything. Don't get me wrong, it's kind of nice to have, but uh, again, not very useful. At least not yet. Okay, but I am really curious if this is going to make things harder or easier. Because now we have more things to kind of keep in stock, of course. But I'm wondering that since we have more product, they'll uh, kind of get less of one thing and... Kind of get a little bit of everything. I don't know if that's better or worse for me, really. Oh, and actually someone found a, a product expensive. I was not uh, fully paying attention there. Oh, that's great. The brand new peanut butter I bought just uh, kind of went down in price by quite a bit. That's totally good for my profits. Yeah, sure. And then I think the rice also went down. But hey, on days like that, you know, that's when I should uh, obviously, I guess, buy more. And then I, f I forget what the other one was. Something else kind of went up, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, I'll try to keep stuff, I guess, just at market price. Sure, we'll stick with that. Okay, so how about we kind of leave that one there for today? Um, Mistakes were definitely made looking at used storage. Not you, Bob. You're, you're kind of cool. A little slow, but you're cool. Yeah, if I hadn't done that, I think we would have uh, progressed a lot further in here and had stuff way better stopped. 
As uh, yeah, you know, I'll get like pasta up here or flour. Keep the pasta with the pasta down there. Olive oil right there, because that makes sense. Yeah, and then, yeah, sure. Salt could stay with the, the sugar and we'll, you know, start up the other section here. But things are going actually uh pretty well. A little hectic restocking everything, but uh, as I've said, once we get the restocker, I might switch out this guy or maybe work alongside him. But that probably needs a couple upgrades here. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.